Well hello guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland today You catch me back out at a bottle dump We're back out bottle digging uh, I'm not sure if this is a poor tip or not We'll soon find out Sooner or later I've got a new thing For holding the camera We should make it a bit steadier We're going to show some good practice today as well And filling in holes Somebody said it in a comment and I thought to myself it's been a while since we've reiterated something like that in your video So yeah, we'll show you how to fill a hole and level it off later on We're going to start a new hole It's clear nobody's doing this dump anymore It's an odd hole maybe over the back that's maybe been done Could be a poor tip, could be a rich tip Somewhere between 30s and 40s Hopefully some older finds will come out If not, it'll be fun digging anyway So we're going to start off And I'll catch you guys in the first hit well guys, I've just done the hole, uh, about three feet down now and I've got what looks like to be maybe a beer Is it going to be blank? Oh, could you believe it? Adam and Eve it man That is a blank beer It's got a bit of age to it as well Yep, it's blank There's the tenants, look at that, you can see the tea on the bottom An old tenants bottle well, let's keep going Here we are, it looks like a sick beer Oh, got a good tune as well for a change That's nice Hey Hamilton Brothers Cole Scythe There you go, Glen I think it says Glen Carroll Spring uh, That's a beer bottle eh? that's nice Excellent Should be having some gloves on for this, it's too wet for this Oh yeah, that's a beauty, yeah See, I'm in the collection with that Well here's something you don't see a lot of, there's a milk jug Yeah, it's whole, look at that, no chips or anything on it Oh beautiful That's a lovely little milk jug yeah, I'll get that cleaned up when I get it home and show you that. I'm going to take that, it's nice. Show that odds and ends, it'll make up a nice cabinet collection. I like stuff like that. Beautiful. Well, there you go, the finds are getting a wee bit richer here. I thought this was a poor dump as well, but <laughs> hey, I'll take that any day of the week. Lovely pen rest ink well. That's the sign of the old stuff coming now. Fresh, fresh ash, fresh hole. There you go, we've got signs of some good stuff coming out here. Could be onto something, a wee winner here, eh? maybe get something out of this I mean last time we were here we did see the cods and that start to come up so Yeah, could well be onto a winner Well here we go, here's another one out, a beautiful little bottle by the way, J&J Steel Wine Merchants, it says ISO Glasgow, there you go We'll look that up and see if we were traded, it's a lovely little wine merchants bottle, beautiful I'll take that for my collection, I love it that's a wee beauty Well, it is absolutely pouring down now I've got a lovely, I think it's an ammonia bottle This says St St Cuthbertson Co-op Glasgow Yeah, is that a, a little ammonia bottle? Maybe somebody can help me with that, I'll take it home And then this popped out, this is about a deja vu for another tip we've normally done But hey, look at that Jai or Comrie Is there any green tops in here? Like the other dump Brilliant, lovely little Comrie mineral I'll take that, it's in really good condition I'll just jag myself That came right off the bottom down here So yeah, let's keep going Well let's have a round, I've had a right good few come out Clay pipe which was Glasgow all day Ugh well, broken A lovely little hexagonal Think well Lung tonic is it? Pouring down now <coughs> Blank I if it's a camp coffee Yep, camp coffee, chicory Look at that Glasgow, I'll take some of these home, clean them up for the round up Some sauces Scots Emulsion Yeah First selection coming out, dross and that We'll get a beer Just hidden in here, it looks like a beer We'll get that out in a minute, but yeah, we're just going to muck out first and then we'll go in and We'll just get this beer, it looks like a full beer or a, maybe even a wine bottle, I'm not sure 
Whew. Oh yeah, look at this. <coughs> Lavona hair tonic. It's your ball day and you know it. You need Lavona. Hey. Still wearing ink. Nothing on it. Penny ink well. Chucking that back in as well. Yeah, that bottle that came out was of course a uh, champagne I think. Or an early beer, one of the two, but yeah, there you go. Maybe an early beer. Yeah, I'm soaked, I'm still going. And I'll see if I can get you any more finds. Well, I'm being honest, the find of the day might just be back in here. Check this out. It's in the back wall. That I've been bursting into in the back here. Look at it, look at it, look at it. I think it's out. It just needs to be pulled. Please behold, please behold, please behold, you beauty! Yep. <sighs> I always get them. <laughs> Beautiful little flagon. It's not a named one. Hey, I'll take it as a flagon, it can go in my collection. That is a beautiful flagon that has just popped out from there. Oh, that's a beauty, that is the find of the day. That's made the day worth coming for that, the wine merchants and the lovely beer I got. And uh, yeah, I've chuffed the bits for that, and on that note guys, I'm soaked the bits, I'm going to head home. But yeah, find of the day, woohoo! There's my little flagon, get in! I'll take that home, that's number three for display. Get in! It's got a bit dark on us, but yeah, time catches up with you. It's good practice to fill your holes, use a trusty rake to rake them. Clean, rake all your glass into the hole, and uh, yeah. That's all I can say really, once it's in the hole, there's no dogs or anything going to get cut on the glass. So I'm in the process of cleaning at the moment, that's a bit dirty inside, I don't know how I'm going to get that out. Probably some denture tablets and leave it overnight, but yeah, it's a lovely pen resting well, you can see the back of his pocket. My wife doesn't see this. Yeah, another ink well, of course, that's going to get cleaned inside. I've not cleaned any of them inside yet, it's just the outside to show you it's a bit better. But yeah, here you go, Hamilton Bros, trademark, Glen. It looks like Glen, Glen Carroll, Springs, Kulsaif. It's a lovely beer. It's a nice one for the collection. I've cleaned that inside as well. quite like this tip actually because there is not a lot of sick stuff. <coughs> well, not too sick anyway, look at that, J&J Steel. Wine Merchants, I go, Glasgow. We will look that up, it's a nice bottle. These are all we get cleaned inside. I just thought I'd bring them home, get them semi cleaned up. This one's got a bit of cleaning to go inside as well. No marks on it, but yeah, look at that. It's a lovely little jug, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder how it's not got blue around this side. I don't know if that's just worn away. Like the glaze is worn away, look. Like. Blue in one side and white in the other. <laughs> that's mental, isn't it? It's a lovely little jug, nonetheless. Find of the day. <coughs> I've just generated this as well. It's got it sparkling. Look at that. Beautiful. It's not a marked flagon, but hey, I'll take it. It's a lovely uh, flagon. Probably a wine merchant's flagon. Don't know if it's old or not, but yeah, it's in the collection. And uh, yeah, that's flagon number three ever. <laughs> I've seen bits of comedies and things like that in this dump as well and hopefully this will produce into something good. I think it's like an old tip, I think there's probably a certain amount of rich people, you know, in a village and <clears throat> uh, maybe a small village dump and uh, yeah, we'll just see what comes out. I reckon there'll be ginger beers there somewhere. It's quite a big tip. It's just getting into it myself. Uh, yeah, I probably could be doing with some help but as time goes by, you find your friends getting smaller and smaller, and uh, yeah, don't worry, that's more for me, when I can get to it, uh, but yeah, having fun at the moment, there looks to be potential here on this tip, I'll maybe hit a wee rich patch, and uh, we'll go back and investigate and see if maybe there is a cod or a ginger there, we've seen cool scythe and Kirk and Tillock cods and gingers, so fingers crossed, something will pop up over the next couple of weeks. That's probably one I'm going to continue with for a wee while because I think there's potential there now. I always thought there was but yeah there's little rich seams and 
we'll just continue with it. I think it could be a poor man's dump, maybe a couple of rich people in a, a village, which means not every dig you're going to get something good, but it's worth kind of pottering about in, because I reckon somewhere along the line you're going to hit the jackpot and either find cream pots or ginger beers or something like that, maybe even you know, early blob tops and things like that. That's something we've not come across yet, but I've seen signs of stuff here that I've seen in another tip. And uh, yeah, let's hope it progresses into the same type of tip. So on that note, guys, uh, thank you everybody who's been watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to receive notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. So on that note, guys, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon.